A business owner on this block tells me that shootings outside the Sting Gentlemen's Club are not uncommon. You can see here a bullet hole left in the side of this business. Also another one right here from previous shootings. And as we were here covering this most recent shooting, a neighbor approached us. She and her husband have three kids and she says she's sick of the violence that always seems to come, she says, from the Sting. It's not safe for us. It's not safe for our families. This woman who asked that we not use her last name or show her face is tired of making the same phone call to police. Every weekend um, is the same thing, so I hope this, this place is closed. The woman, named Maria, is talking about the Sting Gentlemen's Club on Michigan Avenue. Six people were shot there just before 2 a.m. Detroit police say a large number of people had gathered outside the club when an unknown suspect or suspects fired multiple shots. These new surveillance images from a nearby business show a man in blue pointing a gun, then ducking below a car on Michigan Avenue near Clippert. He's also seen on video pointing that gun, then jumping in an SUV parked across the street from the club. We later found shell casings on the ground where that car was parked. The victims are two females and four males, all in their 20s. Two of the men, 28 and 24, remain in critical condition. According to the club's owner, people were leaving for the night when the shooting happened. Maria says she and neighbors have grown increasingly worried for their kids in recent years, as situations like this, she says, seem to keep happening. Sometimes 911 is busy. They only say, please don't hang out. Your call is important for us, and blah, blah, blah. And so we have to cope from different points. About how many times did you say you've called Detroit police for a shooting at this business in the last year? Mm, too many. I did speak with the Stings owner this morning by phone. He declined to do an interview with us. However, he says none of his employees were involved in the shooting, and he says he wants everyone who visits his establishment to be safe. Again, Detroit police continue to investigate. We, of course, will stay on top of the story and bring you the latest developments as we have them. Reporting on the city's southwest side, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.